Chapter 1. Self-awareness helps us to utilize our strengths and manage our weaknesses. In today's business world, an essential requirement for success is self-awareness. Practicing it daily such that it becomes a habit can empower you to succeed. The essence of self-awareness is swallowing hard truths and recognizing the real version of you in the mirror. From self-awareness, you move to being more aware of the things around you, such as the happenings at the office, how your career is moving, and the state of your family life. Awareness could be your superpower if you invest your time in cultivating it. And gladly, the ultimate goal of this summary is to help you do just that. In the following pages, you'll be learning the secrets of successful people. Indeed, there is so much content available on the subject of success. But you'll also concur that many of them are just basically rehashed tactics copied from unverified sources. But this summary is different. These principles are evident in the lives of real-world superstars from across various fields. The prevailing theme of this summary is consistency, and you'll probably realize that most of the success secrets are things you already know, most likely things you're already practicing. However, the differentiator is in the consistency of practice, and that's the part most people find hard to keep up with. Practice trumps talent. As you peruse the subsequent chapters, commit to practicing all you'll learn. See you at the top. Chapter 2. Passion is an internal drive that can emerge through external factors like competition. If you have a love for something, it makes the work easier. However, you should know that love is not enough. You have to put lots of effort into a task to achieve your desired result. And such grit requires putting your passion into practice. But you need more than just talent to get a job done correctly. You must amplify what you do with your devotion and excitement. Passion pushes us through difficult times and situations and sets the direction. We decide to either follow or not and stay on this path, giving ourselves entirely to what we do. If you inject passion into everything you do, tasks will be easier to accomplish. Mark Cuban, an American basketball team owner, had nothing handed to him on a silver platter and always perceived work as an opportunity, not a burden. He had a passion for succeeding. He started by selling garbage bags and powdered milk before climbing his way up. You have to stay prepared because you don't know when and how opportunities will come. And passion is the only thing that keeps us ready to act when the chance appears. Passion is an internal drive that can arise through external factors like competition. From Latin, competition means to strive. And through striving for better, we change. In the workplace, healthy competition is good since no matter whether you win or lose, your efforts and attitude are what count. Whenever you fail to do something, you can turn your disappointment into motivation. Sustaining passion requires courage because you need to stop seeing problems as things to avoid. Start recognizing an opportunity to do something better in each issue. With time, you will become better and your life will be more pleased due to your new mindset. Self-awareness doesn't only make you confident or courageous, it also makes you optimistic. We grow through discomfort and adversity, and passion allows us to drive through the pain. So, be open to failure because temporary discomfort often leads to permanent improvements. Chapter 3. You cannot accidentally run on success. You have to create success by building habits to reach it. Passion is the why, and discipline is the how in the success equation. People mostly call it luck when a person who has prepared hard for success gets an opportunity to shine. Indeed, there may be a small part of luck in the chance itself, but it's always coupled with that person's discipline. When a person is disciplined, they hold very high standards for their desire to work efficiently. So, one must develop good habits reinforced by self-discipline to achieve success. To be productive and efficient, set priorities and stick to them. Prioritization helps you prepare to grab a chance and use it for your benefit. You can prepare yourself by reading, studying, observing, evaluating, socializing, and taking risks. Unseen hours is an apt phrase for the time when successful people struggle with difficulties while working on themselves. It refers to all the publicly unseen time and effort that lays the foundation for the resultant visible success. But don't think that all successful people are just lucky enough to have all the money, popularity, or intelligence. You haven't seen their path, and it definitely wasn't that easy. The stuff we do see that we admire, the moments we hang up a poster of or tell each other stories about, that's literally the tip. It's all about that iceberg underneath. Allen Stein Jr. and John Sternfeld 
To be disciplined as your role models, you must choose what you want precisely. Determine the price you have to pay and decide if you're willing to pay that price. You should develop a habit of putting first things first, spending your time wisely and focusing on what matters. But avoid multitasking as you do because it will only slow you down. Self-discipline is the key to success. Chapter 4. Growth is a continuous process. Those who accept feedback and are willing to improve on it are coachable people. They refuse to stop learning because they desire to improve. What separates successful people from others is how they use their failures. Failure should be an opportunity to learn through feedback or reaction from those who reject you and want nothing to do with you because you haven't reached their level yet. In this case, your worst helper is your best friend. However, maybe you are a lucky one who has friends assisting you in becoming a better version of yourself. Coachability requires trust, openness, and the ability to execute one's plan by understanding the gap between where you are and where you want to be. It requires being open to learning from anywhere and anyone because all people have value. Great ideas are all around us, so train yourself to recognize them. Growth improvement and development are continuous processes, and your happiness, performance, and success rely on the ability to manage these transitions. Try to perceive failure as a practice test before the actual exam. Chapter 5. Whenever disappointment or failure comes, we should take just what we need and move on. Confidence comes from experience and knowledge. It involves knowing and understanding your ability and influence and striving to be better by defying fear and being prepared and driven enough to get through the obstacles. Confidence also comes from both winning and losing. One can gain confidence from passion and discipline. However, there is a practice that can undermine your confidence. Comparison. By comparing yourself to others, you enlarge your doubts about everything connected to you. Comparison deprives us of happiness and increases our insecurities so we start needing others to believe in us. To become more confident, you should ensure that you have a specific vision, meaning the understanding of the future you want and the purpose you serve. Then align your purpose with your vision. Also, vision involves recognizing potential, seeing things before they happen. It requires dedication and having an improvising mindset. Vision is about the clarity of the path you see in front of you. A lack of vision has made many great companies fall. For example, BlackBerry was once popular, but now you're not likely to see someone carrying one around. Leaders ought to spend time thinking about the purpose of their organization or company. Also, they need to be with people who support them or will help them achieve their dream because vision grows in an encouraging environment. Mark Zuckerberg established a vision, and his roommates helped him execute it, which is why Facebook and Instagram are the most popular social media platforms. When you're young and surrounded by like-minded people, it's easier to hold your vision close. Alan Stein Jr. and John Sternfeld There is no such thing as a million-dollar idea because it suggests that the only thing you have to do is come up with an idea, and money will flow into your pocket. But in reality, we have to work hard to implement an idea, and vision can help with this. In addition, by communicating your vision, you can inspire and convince others to bring it to life. Chapter 6 Culture includes collective values, beliefs, behaviors, and the environment of a team. A leader creates a culture to make the team motivated and committed. But a great leader can establish such a harmonic cooperation that the team will effectively handle issues and tasks even if they aren't around. Leaders introduce the buy-in culture, meaning that members of an organization choose to embrace, share, and maintain the culture a coach is trying to create. By buying someone in, you make everyone involved and keep all employees connected and motivated. Culture requires a sense of openness to change your habits. If you desire a culture of truth, you have to build a culture of trust. Create an environment where everyone is safe to speak out by encouraging open communication. Create a culture where everyone sees themselves as part of the company, not just people who work for a paycheck. This will enable everyone to give their best. Culture unites people who have something in common, like an ultimate goal. Leadership is about serving others and putting their needs before yours. What makes leadership effective is knowing that as a leader, you work for people and not vice versa. People are not loyal to jobs. They are loyal to other people. And effective leadership creates strong loyalty that brings commitment, which strengthens culture. A coach can become a servant by understanding what is best for their team, seeing work from their point of view and giving them all they need. A good leader appreciates those who work for them, which requires compassion and empathy. 
Focus more on what you want for your employees than what you want from your employees. Most people care more about the relationship than their salary. Therefore, focus on that. Serving requires guidance, instruction, and connection. Invest in people, understand that there are different types of people, and treat them as such. And avoid criticism that kills their confidence. Chapter 7. Character Creates Loyalty in Business Character is who you are. It is the way you behave when no one is watching. Leaders show respect to people by giving them time. Character means you shouldn't base your actions towards your employees on what you will get from them. Leaders are live examples that show where to move through their words, actions, beliefs, values, and behaviors. Character creates loyalty in business since people see you as someone they can trust when you act with integrity. In 1988, Michael Jordan was to be named the most marketed player on earth. His agent, Falk, offered to reduce his firm's marketing fee, but MJ turned down his offer, changing Falk's relationship with Jordan entirely because he trusted him. Be a person on which you would want to rely on. Leadership is not just about dishing out orders and over-laboring people. It's about leading by example and demonstrating what you want players to do. As a coach, accept blame for the losses and give players credit for the victories. Character means that you understand that sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. Did you know, Kodak started its digital photography business way back in 1975. Chapter 8. Empowering people will build their confidence because it shows that you believe in them. A coach should give their team members a sense of independence by empowering them. This empowerment will bring about happiness, thereby increasing productivity. Empowering people involves being a player coach. It means you get out of your way. Trust the people you have trained and still take charge. Allowing those who have trained to lead makes everyone feel on top of the world. Give a man a fish and he will eat for a day. Teach a man to fish and he will eat for a lifetime. Give people around you the space for achievements by letting them be autonomous. A team is a group or organization that works together to achieve a common goal. A successful team is composed of a set of people who are self-aware, passionate, disciplined, coachable, and confident. Such people are led by people with vision and character and have a strong culture that can serve and empower them. As a leader, you should make others believe in you. For a team to be effective, they must understand that you are reliable enough for them to count on their leader. Doubt and uncertainty in someone can affect a whole team because it will drain the group's spirit, causing negativity and killing confidence. People who drain the positive spirit out of others are called energy vampires. Belief turns goals into reality because if you don't provide motivated people with something to believe in, something more appealing than their job, they will motivate themselves to find a new job. Belief involves others. This is different from confidence. The people who surround us determine our success through beliefs. So your task as a leader lies in earning people's trust. Chapter 9. To achieve success, leaders and team members must be selfish. Most people believe that they must lose in order to win. All people are born selfish. It is in our DNA. Unselfishness is considering other people's feelings and thoughts. It entails putting the needs of others first without being competitive. Instead, it means working towards the team's mission. Switch off your ego from time to time to connect with other people and understand them better. Unselfishness helps everyone strive to become the best for the team, not the best in the team, because success is defined collectively instead of individually. There's a misconception in the business world that unselfish people get trampled on. Therefore, you must look out for yourself. But this is wrong. As leaders and team players, we must recognize that unselfishness and generosity are integral to success. Leaders should clarify the roles of their team members. For teams to succeed, people have to be where they can effectively function. Role clarity helps a team understand what each person is responsible for. A leader must examine every player on their team communicate their roles and values, and motivate the weak ones. For a team to be successful, members must talk to each other. Communication breaks down the proverbial wall. Instead of telling someone you know how they feel, tell them you appreciate how they feel or respect what they are going through. They will regard it as genuine sympathy. Everyone can talk, but effective communication is key to forming a strong team. This skill can be learned and improved with practice and repetition. Communication helps us check on those around us making them feel loved. Good teams talk, but great teams communicate. As a leader, allow your team members to air their views because knowing what people think about you is essential. Conclusion Success does not just appear out of nowhere. It starts with commitment. Everything valuable comes with effort, 
In other words, you must make the sacrifice by first believing in yourself and your team. The most common mistakes people make when trying to achieve something in their lives is believing that it has to be easy, or otherwise they're pursuing the wrong goal. However, success doesn't work this way. You might have been misled by other successful people, watching the image they translate and forgetting that you haven't seen exactly how they reach the top. As you've learned from this summary, successful people struggle, have doubts, and fail the same way all humans do. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately really, we need to change a lot in our minds to find ourselves in a place we want to be. We should work a lot on our drawbacks and illusions to become successful people. But you shouldn't be discouraged because hard work, self-reflection, and individuals who wake you up with constructive criticism make life fuller than it could ever be. Solicit feedback to help you develop greater awareness of your core self. Ask your friends and family members what they think about your behavior, habits, and mindset regarding your ambitions. Do you, as a person, fit the objectives you aim to achieve? Which characteristics impede this process and which boost? Try this. Increase trust with your employees or team members by being open, attuned, and keeping your word. Trust is two-sided, but the boss has to be the first to initiate it in a corporate setting.